Welcome to my engineering drawing playlist. Today we will see the problem on the projections of solids, especially to understand the concept of the projection of solid. So let's see first of all the description that is given to you in the examination. Draw projection of square pyramid. If its axis perpendicular to HP and parallel to both VP and PP, that means vertical plane and profile plane, such that one side of base is parallel to VP. Take side of base of pyramid 30 mm and axis length 60 mm. So here you have to imagine the square pyramid in your mind. So generally you can imagine the base must be polygon and top is the apex point. Once again, here it is the square pyramid. So your base is the square and top is the apex point. That means single point. That will be the square pyramid. So you have to follow these three stages or you can say three steps for any problem related to the projection of solids. And here you can see in first stage, you have to assume the axis of the solid either perpendicular to HP or perpendicular to VP. Here it is given to you, if its axis is perpendicular to HP, so that is directly given to you, axis is perpendicular to HP. So here we are going to assume in the first stage axis perpendicular to HP. And so that you can see the true shape of the base of square pyramid is in top view. And hence you have to start with the top view of first stage. Now once again, you have to imagine this drawing in your mind. It is not required to draw in the examination. But with respect to horizontal plane and vertical plane, you can imagine the square pyramid like this in your mind because of here it is given to you square pyramid with axis perpendicular to HP. So here you can see axis is perpendicular to HP. This is the profile plane because of it is given to you that axis is perpendicular to HP as well as parallel to both VP and PP. So here you can see axis is parallel to VP and parallel to PP also. So here you can see this is the square pyramid. But the question is that what should be the position of the square? So it can be anyone. Here you can see the base of the square pyramid. But that square you can put in any position. But once again here it is given to you such that one side of base is parallel to VP. So here you can see there are four sides of base. Out of this four side, one side of base is parallel to VP. So here you can see this is actually the VP and one side must be parallel to VP. So now it is fixed. You should consider the square pyramid like this. So that one side or you can say one edge of the base is parallel to VP. Here you can see. So for this particular situation, you have to draw first the XY line that is your reference line. Now once again here axis is perpendicular to HP and so that you can see the base as a true shape in the top view and hence you should start with the top view. So here you can see top view will be the square. So simply you can draw the square. And this distance you can take randomly anyone because of that is not mentioned over here. Now give the name. So here I have considered this is A, B, C, D. So in the top view you can see A, B, C, D. So I can give the name. Again keep in mind for the top view the corner point must be with the small letter and without dash. Now to locate this O point you have to join these two points so that you can find the center position and that will be your O point. That means apex point. Now, in the front view, you can see this AB 
will be over here. So it will be a dash b dash. Similarly, c d will be over here. So it will be c dash d dash. And o will be over here. So it will be o dash. So this is the front view. So now you can draw the front view over here with the help of the projection. So it will be your a dash b dash and it will be your c dash d dash. And you can see o dash that is over here and here you can see this is the height of the square pyramid and that is given to you. The axis length is 60 mm. So take the height as 60 mm so you can locate the O point over here and this line will be projected from this point so that you can definitely locate over here O dash as 60 mm from this XY line. So this is the axis length and so that you can draw this front view. So keep in mind in the examination you have to draw this outer line only as a dark line. No need to draw this line as a dark line in the examination. So this is really very simple problem but parallelly it is very helpful to understand the description of the problem with the help of these three planes HP, VP and PP. Thanks my dear friends for watching this video. Press the like button to appreciate it.